Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. So when I went to CES, uh, Gigabyte uh, invited me to their press conference and they were talking about uh, their motherboards, their graphics cards, and as well as their new RTX laptops. And uh, this little video is gonna be the uh, keynote presentations on their laptops and their partnership with Microsoft where they use Microsoft Azure uh, AI learning to help you know, down clock uh, the uh, CPU and GPU and alter the power requirements. And it goes into a little bit more details about that. And uh, I'll do a separate video on their RTX laptops as well. Now, if you do want to see the keynote presentations on the graphics cards and motherboards, let me know and I can upload that separately. So anyway, hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. Please put your hands together to welcome our Senior Vice President of Gigabyte, Mr. Johnson Lee. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnson. Thank you for joining today's event. Gigabyte is honored to cooperate with Microsoft and Intel to create the world's first AI and all Intel Inside data. This will be the whole new concept and experience to use the laptop. In the past, people have to set a different setting to get the best performance or balance the performance within cool and quiet. For example, gamers have to set to the gaming mode when playing games. Meanwhile, they just want to surf the internet they have to switch to quiet mode to lower down the fan noise. Now, the AI and all Intel inside laptop will automatically set the different setting according to the user's different scenarios. Next, we will invite Microsoft Worldwide Device Sales VP Avalo and uh, Intel Associate PC Sales GM the mention and our PM manager Andy to share more information about the AI and the all Intel inside laid up to us. Please welcome them. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You show more enthusiasm what she said, right? Come on, work with me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, great. Well, it's, it's an honor to be here. Actually, it's a, it's a very inspiring event. I think it's, a, it's awesome to see industry companies like Intel and us partnering with uh, an innovative uh, company, Arabasia, trying to come and redefine the experience that people will have on their devices, right? And keep pushing forward on what is possible and we're making possible through innovation. So I just want to take a couple of minutes just to set a little bit the stage on why are we seeing what we're seeing? And what is the bigger context on some of the innovation that you're seeing today coming to life? And the way we like to invite you to think about it is as technology evolves, the paradigms, the way we are creating compute is really changing very fast. And it's the way that we believe at Microsoft these days that the technology is evolving is pretty much with two forces that are feeding and helping each other do better which is an intelligent cloud and a very, very broad set of ecosystem of devices that we call the intelligent edge. And what happened is, it's a reality today that we have many, many devices in our lives, right? But those devices are changing really quickly. They are not only the big devices that we see every day, are also smart devices, sensors, another type of uh, silicon-based uh, capabilities are embedded in everything that we do. And that device by itself is also changing. The way we interact with them is changing. Because it's not only the keyboard of the mouse, it's also voice, it's ink, it's vision, it will be gestures in the future, so back and so forth. So what happened is that as you have so many devices in, in your life, and they surround on everything that you do, you start having a very big need of having a development model that will allow experiences that can travel across those multiple devices to enable what you want. And by itself, that generates a big opportunity and a big challenge for developers as we, as we go and try to build those experiences that are going to be multi-device by nature. In the other hand, with the amount of devices that are being out there and that we're enabling, 
you also get a huge amount of data. And data creates an, in, an incredible gravitational pull where you want to do something with it, something good with it. And then what you want to do is move the compute capacity closer to that data to be, uh, to be able to then increase the speed, reduce the latency, give it more ability to react, and then create paradigms like serverless computing, agent-based computing, and all that. But the point is you want to get the capacity closer to the user to improve the experience that they have. Last but not least, as you have those amount of data across all those devices, what happens is that you can reason over that data, and then you can bring life, thanks to the computing capabilities, to artificial intelligence that then would generate a new and better set of experiences for people as they use those devices. And all that generates a positive cycle on having more devices, having more data, that have better experiences, have AI that will take you to have more devices, and that generates a cycle that is accelerating as we improve in innovation both in the cloud and in the intelligent edge. So what you're seeing today, I think is a great inspiring example on how that comes to life on things that we don't really expect it, but makes a lot of sense once you look into it. So when the team invited me to come to the event and say, hey, why don't you share what you guys are doing? I'm like, OK, well, tell me the latest. We talked about this a few months back, a year back. So what are you doing? right? And, and when you look at what Gigabyte have done with Cool and Quiet, I think it's an awesome example of that journey of creating an intelligent edge device using the intelligent cloud and creating an experience that is powered by AI to make it better. Trying to understand then what is the user trying to do right, in that edge device based on what the users want is trying to do use artificial intelligence and then come back and say, hey, device, why don't you change your power distribution between your CPU, your GPU, what about this keyboard configuration? Why don't you, you know, get the fan to be quieter because the is not, it's not gonna get that hot or, or the contrary. It's gonna be a crazy gaming session. Go full force because really you will need more GPU or more, or more keyboard. And you need a very special sound for this activity that people wanna do. And if I as a user go back and change the settings because I don't like them, then it becomes smart and next time that I'll do it, it will do it the way I like it. And that kind of experience is fairly unique. So gaming has grown uh, an insane amount uh, to the point where of the 8 billion or so people in the world, roughly 30% 30, 30 of those are what we would consider to be a gamer on some device. Um, you can whittle that down a little bit to PC gamers and people that actually pay for PC games, but you're still looking at half a billion people in the world that want to buy devices like the ones in the, in the next room over there and want to play online multiplayer games and, and participate in esports. So that's why I'm so excited about the enthusiast PC market. But it's not just about games. Um, there's, other, there's other users that need that performance as well. And we, you know, the, the one that we're focused on now, in addition to gamers, is creators. And up until recently, creators, if they wanted a high-end PC, pretty much had to buy a gaming PC because that was where the performance was. They didn't have a lot of options, um, but led by companies like Gigabyte, we're starting to see products that are now certainly capable of playing a game, but really tailored towards people that want to do other things as well, that still need that high-end performance. And here is just a quick look at some of the differences between what creator wants in a PC and what a gamer wants in a PC. More I.O., you know, better display, uh, color correctness, things like that. And what you really, what you've really started to see in the market is sort of a, a segmenting of the high-end PC base where you've got products like Aorus, which is based uh, and focused on gaming, and then you know, other products that are based on creation or people that want to do more than that, like the Viva Book. So that entire group combined, creators and gamers, is what's led to this huge increase in retail sales of, of high-end PCs over the past three years. So this is a, uh, uh, a PC sales at retail, strictly notebooks, over the past three years. And no matter which part of the world you're looking at, there's been at least a double-digit year-on-year growth each of the last three years for high-end PCs. So hopefully for the people in this room, this is no surprise that this is a, a, a growing category and really the bright spot 
in the PC market today and why all of us here are so excited about these products because there's so many people that are waiting for these products that are really going to get a huge amount of enjoyment and use out of them. So what is Intel doing? Obviously, we build CPUs. And about six months ago, we launched our 8th gen uh, H-series notebook CPUs, which is really focused on gaming, creation, high-end PCs, like the ones you have in the other room over there. Um, and for the first time, we brought, uh, we brought six cores to mobile. We, you, we, uh, we, we shipped up to 4.9 gigahertz worth of frequency. With overclocking, obviously, you can go beyond that. And we've got our first product uh, featured over there uh, that we branded as a Core i9 with that level of, of high-end performance. So we're going to keep innovating there and delivering things like this, where a three-year-old PC only gets you half the performance of what you can get today. So we think that's a fairly stunning number, that you can double the amount of PC performance that you're getting in just a three-year span, which is sort of the typical refresh time frame for the enthusiast market. But in addition to the CPU side, we've got several other areas uh, that we're looking at and have been looking at and are delivering new products. So one is memory. Obviously, there's bottlenecks all over the place that, that are possible in the memory subsystem in the PC. So we've introduced Optane branded products that number one, deliver some of the fastest SSDs on the market, and number two, uh, Optane memory is essentially a system cache that makes a hard drive feel like an SSD. Now, some of you might wonder, hasn't the world moved on from hard drives? Um, above a certain price point, yes, but there's many parts of the world and many price points where the majority of what's getting sold today still ships with just a single hard drive in it, and that's what Optane memory is set to address. And we've got a lot more in, in store on the, on the Optane front, so, uh, so stay tuned there. Uh, networking, we partnered with Killer last year at CES, and we've since started shipping uh, a bundle of our uh, 11AC wireless hardware and their Killer wireless software to give you some ridiculously high theoretical max bandwidths, as well as the ability to combine your wired and wireless networking together in a feature that Killer calls the Double Shot Pro. So networking is obviously a huge one. You've got to have good ping times if you're playing a game. Um, and we're very happy with what we've been able to deliver alongside Killer there. And then the final one that I'll talk about today is Thunderbolt, which is our third generation fast IO interconnect for external storage, external displays, and external graphics. Um, so you can have a very thin and light notebook with long battery life, plug it into a desktop GPU, like the Aorus uh, 2080s in there, and have a basically a desktop-like experience with a very thin notebook. So these are just examples of the, the sort of four corners of where we're trying to innovate and push the PC platform forward. And the reason I'm showing this today is because Gigabyte is taking, taking advantage of the innovation that we're trying to bring in all four corners here and delivering it in their um, all Intel strategy. So we're very happy to have them supporting the, the innovation that we bring to market, and we're here to provide any support we can for that. So with that, I'm going to hand it back to Gigabyte so they can tell you more about the products that they've got coming out today. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Andy Zhu, and I'm in charge of the product marketing of the Gigabyte. And today, I'm as exciting as you guys because we now push the gaming experience and the content creation experience to further with the Gaming Plus and Professional Plus technology. You know, behind this thing, just like our, our precious uh, visitor, the Microsoft and from Intel, that we co-work with them to push the all Intel inside technology and also the Microsoft Azure AI to deliver the world's first all Intel inside and Azure AI power notebook. So let's take a look inside what we have. First, I want to start from the all Intel inside. You know, we widen the co-op with Intel. Now, all critical component inside the Gigabyte branded laptop, no matter it's the Aero 15 or the new Aorus 15, they're all from the Intel, like the CPU, PC Edge, Thunderbolt 3, and Wi-Fi. And now we go further with them with exclusive single source of the SSD utilization, the 760. 760. So let's take a video about what all inputs I have. Just imagine you're driving a car and then you will eat a lot of bonus when you got. But once you have one from Intel, they will boost up your speed and they will reach to the ultimate situation no matter your gaming or content creation work. 
760p SSD features thumb, uh, sorry, PCIe Gen 3 by 4 outman writing, reading speed. And also we have the Killer, Killer 1550 powered by Intel, providing lowest pin, fastest network speed. And finally, we proudly announce that the new the i9 processor, powerful processor now landing on Thin and Light Aero 15 model, provides up to 4.8 GHz delivering immersive game experience and fluent content creation. So that's the thing that all Intel I want to tell. So we will utilize the powerful i9 processor up to 40 gig of Thunderbolt 3. 760p SSD premium SSD and a killer wireless AC 1550 in our following Aero 15 and our Oris, Oris 15 to deliver the most durable, highest quality platform to all the players and content creators around the globe. Well, Gigabyte has never just satisfied with just the innovator of the hardware, but the software. You know, we see some pain points when people using the performance notebook in the past. Because you know you can just imagine that in the past there's a lot of power scheme available on the performance notebook like gaming mode, like quiet mode, performance mode. So once you need to use certain apps, you need to switch the mode between it. And but you know what? Everybody knows that over 99% of the users don't know that. And what they expect is that once they put it on a laptop, what they get, they can what they can get is the best performance one without less heat and less noise. So. Microsoft and Gigabyte understand the pain point we have, that those users have, so this time we'll co-op to deliver the world's first Microsoft Azure AI Power laptop, the Aero 15 and OS 15. So, you guys may not know that different apps may have different needs of the computing power. For example, like you play games, actually it's the GPU that is more demanding, the last from CPU, but the situation will change totally different when you're doing the video editing because you will come through the power from CPU most, but really last from GPU. So what we are doing with Microsoft is that we will send every apps, no matter what kind of apps you are running, to the Microsoft Azure Cloud for machine learning. And through machine learning, it will know the power consumption pattern of the app. For example, we are playing the hottest FPS game, the players are no battlegrounds. It will know that, hey, you are playing the games, and I will raise the power to GPU more, and situation the same, we are doing a video editing work such as the After Effects or Premiere. It, it, it will know that you're running a video editing software and raise the CPU to CPU, sorry, raise the power to CPU to the most. So it means that no matter what kind of apps you're running, no matter scan or content creation work, it will know it and will deliver you the best power distribution between the CPU and GPU to deliver the higher FPS in game and shorter video encoding time. So as you can see, through the help of all Intel Insight technology and Microsoft Azure AI technology, you can have higher FPS thanks to the Azure and also the powerful, of the CPU, powerful CPU and shorter video encoding time through the AI and also through the powerful CPU as well. So that will be the meaning of behind the Gaming Plus and Professional Plus they want to deliver to all the guys this year. To deliver more immersive gaming experience and more fluent, shorter times on waiting the video encoding.